Hey guys, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you get ready with me every day. This is really easy to you guys. It's really easy. The foundation that I'm going to use isn't a foundation. So this is the, I hope I'm saying this right, is it Coats? C-O with a little line above it, T-Z. It's a mineral sunscreen, SPF 40 for, it's a space prime and protect. I'm just putting this on like I would my sunscreen because it is sunscreen, but it is pretty tinted. I don't know if you'll be able to see. It is quite dark. Now, I, let me tell you when, as I'm putting this on. I don't know if this would work if you had dry skin. I don't know. I don't know if this would be. It's very silicone feeling. Um, but it is matte. That's why I say I don't know if it would work if you have dry skin. I have both. I have combo dry and oily skin. And what I like about this, it gives me a little bit of color, which normally tinted sunscreens don't. I use the one from Australian Gold. And I don't find that that does anything. I thought there was another one that I was using, but I, I don't feel like normally they give me a nice coverage as far as the tinted part. But this one does. Let me go in now and I want to use this. I kind of want to use my Chanel with it, but we're just going to use this. So let's see. I don't know, you guys. Let's see how this is. So many of you guys. Now, this already feels thicker than my tube that I had. Let me go up here. It feels. I don't know if you can see that. You can even see that. Like to me, that looks like it's a little bit thicker than that. I'm going to go ahead and use my Trish McAvoy eye primer. I just use a little dot. You see a little I use and really blend it in. Now I'm just going to go in and use my Color Science Color Corrector. I've shared this before. I love this. Um, I basically use only those two shades. <laughs> so I wish they sold those separately or something, you know. But you know, if you think about it, even when you get eye palettes, I always feel like we always have our favorite colors, you know, and even you could have 50 colors and there's probably like four of them that you <laughs> use all the time. Now I'm going to go in and do my bronzer like I normally do. I'm going to use my Chanel. I love this one. This is a new one that I just got, by the way. So my last one lasted about two years. I still had some left, but I was really scraping it. I felt like it was starting to get kind of dried out. So that's why I purchased another one. I've tried other bronzers. I always feel like I come back to this one. I am using my Daniel Sandler watercolor blushes. I did a review on this. I love these, you guys. They are so good. So I just put it on my hand. I mixed the two a little bit. And I'm going to tap it here, tap it here. I got to blend it out. I didn't. Um, I'm talking and I did not. Sometimes I kind of take some of that color off, but it's okay. We're going to fix it gonna rub this off this brush off kind of want to work a little fast here because it does dry down but do you see where I put my blush by the way I put my blush up high I don't put it low like I used to now I'm gonna go in and use my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter I was I kind of stopped doing this for a while you go in your little uh, changes with your routine and this was one of them and now with this I feel like because it's so flat this um, sunscreen. I feel like I need a little bit of dewiness, so I'm just putting some right there. I just use it as a highlighter, basically. So I just take my beauty blender and just blending that. And it just creates a little bit of a shine and kind of, see how that looks? Just kind of brings my light, my my face to life and <laughs> my look to life now i'm going to go in with my makeup forever now this is a finishing powder i don't want to over powder it because it's already a matte sunscreen it's not a foundation so i don't want to powder it but i do want to put a little bit of this on because it just creates a really pretty flawless look see how that just softened everything up i love this powder so good and a little bit by my eyes so i really quickly this isn't a review of the palette i'm just doing an eye look with it today 
but this is again the warm palette from MAC. I have to tell you that I actually like the packaging when I saw some reviews on the packaging. I was like, yeah, it looks okay, but it's really, really nice in person. I like the fact that it's plastic. It's not cardboard, so it's a nice one. You know, I feel like if you were traveling with it, it wouldn't get ruined, you know? Nice size mirror in there. That's really nice. And then look at all the colors that you get. I'm going to hold it back a little bit because my lighting, but I just love it. Now, I'm not going to use the blush because I love what I'm using right now, but I may use it in the eye color sometime. Um, and I may use that on my on my eyes as well because I don't use, I haven't been using a powder highlighter. I just like this little simple highlighter that I use from Charlotte Tilbury. So I am going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to start and use that kind of like in my transition color. I don't jump on every every collection that comes out, you know what I mean? Kind of, but this is like, girl, <laughs> you guys, you know this is me, right? You know, you know, if you know me, you know. Now I'm gonna go in and I am gonna take this pretty color right here. And I'm just tapping my brush in too. And again, now when I apply my eyeshadow, and by the way, I'm going to do a series. I'm going to do a, a makeup series coming up soon, and I'm going to kind of go over every single uh, makeup application and explain like how to do, how to create an eye look step by step, especially with aging hooded eyes. We're going to talk about foundation, picking out a foundation, how to apply it, blood, like everything. We're going to go break it down step by step. So. Stay tuned for that. So what I was going to say is that as we get older and your eyes start to sag a little bit, you kind of have to bring, just like your blush, you have to bring it up higher. You have to do that with your eyes too. And you don't want to go like this and do your shadow because you're going to do that and you're actually going to put it down here and then when you relax your eyes, you're not going to see it. And you see when I relax my eyes, you see how I, yeah, I <laughs> have a lot of saggy skin. So I need to bring my shadow up a little higher. I am not going to see it. Now I'm not going to bring it all the way up to there, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So I'm just going to blend this really, really well. Isn't that pretty? I really, really like this. I was not going to get this. This was kind of like, hmm, okay. The color payoff is gorgeous. So now I'm going to go in. I'm going to take that really pretty color there. It's kind of like a burgundy color. And I'm going to put it right here on the outside. You don't want to go too far out. I kind of like make an imaginary line here from the end of my eye and then up like that a little bit. Just keep it on the corner. Now we're going to blend it. We want to keep it in the same area. You can blend it up here a little bit, but we don't want to blend this color all in here. I'm going to take this right here, this color here, the shimmer color. I'm going to use my finger because it seems like this actually applies better using your finger, which I'm not a fan of using my fingers, but it definitely does. I always like to put a shimmer because I just feel like it really brightens up my eye and I think I need that, especially at my age. I just feel like I need a little bit of, I need a little bit. I don't like to use glitter. But I definitely like to use shimmers. Now I'm going to go in and I am going to use my smudge brush from It Cosmetics. And I am going to take this brown down here. And I'm going to put it right on my lash line. And then I'm going to blend it. But I don't want to blend it down because I don't want to create a shadow. I really want to keep it on my lash line. I'm going to take my Chanel black liner and I'm going to go ahead and do my waterline. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on my lash primer. This is Lash Paradise Eye Primer. Lash primer, not eye primer. And I'm going to let this sit on Oops, I got a little bit up there. I'm going to let this sit on while I do my brows and my lipstick. Do my lips, and I am going to use Lisa D's 
lip liner and this is nude sandals i believe yes nude sandals and golden tiger yes is the name of her lipstick this has been my go-to lately this lip liner is amazing because it's a creamy formula which i don't always like a really creamy formula i've shared that before but this stays on your lips I mean, it stays on your lips. It's unbelievable. Now I'm gonna go in with Golden Tiger. Oh my God, is that pretty? That is such a pretty combo. It's creamy on its own, but you know me, I can't leave it alone. So I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs Moon Glow. And just put a little. Now I'm going to go in and do my brows. So this is what I've been doing lately with my brows. I've been using my Chanel brow, waterproof brow. I love this one. This one stays on me longer. I feel like maybe longer than the Anastasia one, but it is similar to the Anastasia one. So this one is the thicker pencil. This one isn't the pointy precise one. This one's a little bit thicker and see how it's kind of angled. So this is great if you want to just, if you're in a hurry and you just got to do your brows. This, this is what I do. I just brush them up first. And you can see I don't have very much brows. I take my pencil and then I start right here. Right on the end, right here. And then I turn it this way. And I start following my brows my brow line. I brush it up again. I'm just going to get a little bit right here. Just follow that through. Really easy to do. So this isn't going to give you those hair strokes or anything like that, which let's be honest. That's hard to do. I'm still practicing that. Then I will take this and I want to just lightly brush it up, but I want to make sure that I'm, it's nice and soft. I don't want it to look like I drew my brows on, but look at the difference between that eye and that eye. That's why brows are so important because my own brows are like non-existent. I am gonna go ahead and apply my mascara. This takes me a while. I'm gonna fix my hair and then I will be right back. So this has kind of been my go-to ever since I discovered that I really like using this. That doesn't feel like I have a foundation on because I don't. So it just gives me enough coverage with this for me. Um, and then I just use my, you know, my concealer and just do my makeup like I normally do, but I just have sunscreen on. So it's really, really nice and fresh for a summer day. So if you're someone like me that doesn't like to use a lot of makeup or anything, you might want to give this a try. Although, like I said, I don't know how it would be on dry skin. I don't know if it would be too matte. My skin will get a little, you can see it already in the light. You can see I got a little bit of shine going there and I will throughout the day, but it's not going to be oily like a foundation. And that's what I like about this. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I will leave all the details below with everything that I shared in the video, including this, if it's still available, hopefully it is. I am really enjoying this because like I said, these colors right up my alley. That is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please, before you leave, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I hope that you did. And also if you're not already, make sure you click that button below hit the subscribe button i share new videos every single week i share tips makeup tips to make us mature ladies look and feel fabulous and click that notification bell too because anytime i share a new video you'll be notified follow me on instagram too and leave me a comment below and let me know do you do this do you just use a tinted sunscreen as your go-to and forget the foundation in the summer let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And that is it. Thank you guys so much. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.